Okay, guys. We found a good spot, I think. Gotta get the old troll motor out. Alright guys, so we're struggling trying to catch fish. I mean, I'm getting fish all over the radar right there. But I just cannot get them to bite. I don't know what the heck, guys. But I just can't get them to bite. But there is fish down there. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can get them to start getting active and throw something at them that they actually want. But anyway, I'm going to keep after it, guys. Pretty good trout. Not bad. Okay, guys. Got our fish. <laughs> we have been struggling today, man. I couldn't figure it out, but I think I got it figured out now. But that's a pretty good fish right there. We're going to take that home and eat for sure. Beautiful fish, though. Nice. Ah, oh, yeah, boys. Fish is on. We're going to smoke trout, baby. Can't wait. Alright guys, so cannot get him to bite. I don't know what the heck, but we couldn't get him to bite. But we got one fish, we're gonna take it home, smoke her up, make a catch and cook out of this video. The wind's getting bad. So we're just gonna get out of here guys. So we'll see you back when we get back to the house. Start cooking them up. Can't wait or cook one up because we're gonna catch nothing. Anyway guys, peace. Okay guys, we are back and we are gonna brine this fish and we're gonna put it on the smoker. So let's get the brine going right now. Guys, right, first things first, we just got some brown sugar as the base. Just like that, just regular light brown sugar. I'm gonna pour a little bit of kosher salt. I'm gonna kind of spread that around. Do about a half a cup. Kind of mix that up a little bit. It's gonna be the kind of, kind of the bed for it right there. Okay, so I even put the brown sugar all over in the meat, just like that. Kind of just getting the brown sugar inside the body. Really pull out that moisture. Anyway, we're going to get it all covered up. And get our last bit of salt on there. And we're going to mix her up and put her in the fridge. So, we're just going to put her in the fridge for about 8 to 12 hours and then we're going to get it out, rinse it all off, put it on the smoker for about two, two and a half hours and it should be good eating. So, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Okay, guys, it's been, a, it's been about 12 hours. Let's get our fish out, see how it's kind of slimy. Just bring all that moisture out. So, we're just going to get this rinsed off <clears throat> real quick and then we're going to Let's do some seasoning. Fish is all hard. It's not or kind of stiffer. It's not so soft and flexible. So I'll just wash all that brown sugar off of there. And the meat. Put some notches in just for some seasoning. That's all it's really for. So. Alright guys, first thing we're gonna do is put some salt. And get some salt down in there. Get it 
Anyways, get it into that meat. Packed it in there a little bit. And then next, we're just gonna do some garlic pepper and kind of keep this simple. Or this is uh, lemon pepper, I should say. Lemon pepper. Get it in those cuts. Get some flavor in there. Flip it over. We're gonna do the same thing on the inside. Just a little wee bit of salt. Lemon pepper. And then we're just gonna stuff it. with some lemons, just like that, inside, and then we're just gonna top it off with lemons, just like that, and we'll just go on the smoker, just like that. So just like that, guys, woo -hoo. Can't wait, it's gonna be delicious. Uh. Okay, guys, I got the temperature at 180 on the smoker, so now we're just gonna put this in, just like that. It's gonna start smoking. See what happens. I can't wait. Oh, it's gonna be good, guys. Can't wait. Okay, guys, she's about done. This is gonna be delicious. Cannot wait. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. Cannot wait, guys. So what we got going on is in the old kitchen. I have some rice to go with it that I cooked up. Just some easy going rice. It's gonna be hella good. So let's get it all put together and we'll see what I come up with here. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> so stay tuned guys. All right guys, look at that meal right there. Oh yeah, yeah, that looks good. Heck yeah. Woo, it's gonna be delicious. I just dig it in, nice smoked rainbow trout right there. Mm -mm -mm. Got a perfect little dinner right there. Mm. Oh, that's freaking delicious. I really love smoked trout. It's it's the best way to eat it. Also got some rice going. It is just bomb. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, guys, I'm going to finish eating. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Stay tuned. Hit that notification button, guys. Peace. fish on in the morning. We're up here at Fish Lake. It's probably nice. It doesn't feel like a very big one, but I just barely put it in the water. So let's see what this is here. Probably just a little trout. Not a very big one. Definitely a little guy. But hey, it's a fish. Come on, baby. And this little guy. Cool color on him though. Definitely cool color. Fish is on, hopefully. That's we had a hit it a little earlier. It's definitely catching on a worm, baby. Heck yeah, guys. We're into the fish now. Alright guys. Get him in the net. Get him released, because this is not definitely not a keeper. But it's a fish and we had a hit on it earlier. So I think we might have it figured out. Alright, go buddy, go, 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 Not away from the motor bud, away from the motor, go. There you go. <laughs> now he doesn't want to leave. <laughs> Got a little pet now. Shoo, go, get, get, get. <laughs> oh, hopefully the bite's on boys, hopefully the bite's on. Okay, guys, on our third fish. This one feels a little better. Feels a little better. Hopefully this is a big fish. Same old routine. Pop gear and a worm. Take my time. I'm not going to fight it too hard. No more losing fish. It's like to wrestle them in. I get too damn excited and wrestle them in and lose them. Come on. Patience. Patience is a virtue. Yeah. Not too much better. Sure was a fighter though. But I would like to see bigger fish than that. 
but it's a little bigger than that last one, so that might help out a little bit. So long, buddy. We need some bigger ones, though. Dang. We're going to keep after it, though. It's still early. It feels a little bigger. Put it on the downrigger and got it down about 30 feet, hoping to go for some bigger fish than what we were catching. So let's see what this is here. Hopefully go for some lake trout. But trying to catch them big rainbows, too. Kind of easily. Here he comes. It's a little bigger than my last one, too. All right. Heck yeah. Beautiful fish. Look at the colors on him. Awesome. Hopefully we can get some bigger ones. But the fish, fish are getting bigger later in the day. Oh, yeah. Let's get him landed. Beautiful fish. Oh yeah, get the colors on him. Woohoo! Heck yeah, the bite is on. Beautiful fish. Sweet. if we can get some bigger ones though. I really want to catch a good sized lake trout and a big rainbow. A couple big rainbows to take home and eat. Let's see what happens. Okay guys, got a fish on. He's a little jumper. A little jumper. Might be a little kokanee. Might be a little kokanee. Oh, this is a little fighter here. Little fighter. He is mean. I think that's a kokanee, boys. I don't know. No, it might be just a hard fighting rainbow. Can't tell yet. Uh, no, it's just a hard fighting rainbow. Wow, he sure is mean. Wow, that guy's got a lot of fight in him. Okay, guys, that's a little chunky right there, but definitely not what we're looking for. But still a pretty fish. Let's get him back. Damn, the rainbows are pathetic up here. Dang, I want to catch some bigger rainbows. God, this sucks for rainbow fishing. I just have to just quit fishing for them and fish for lake trout from now on. Anyway, we're gonna keep get, we're gonna keep after it. <laughs> Just a nice perch. Uh -oh. Yeah, there's fish all over down there, but I'm trying to get some trout to bite. But we might have to uh, see what happens here. I'm definitely gonna take a few of these guys home and eat them. But might cut him up, and put him, put a chunk on it on the on my tube jig. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, okay, guys, I think we're hooked up on something. This is a big spoon. I'm hoping it's a big lake trout, but I can't. I don't know. There's a lot of debris in the water, and we might just be picking up a bunch of moss and stuff, but I'm not quite sure yet on what this is. It's definitely heavier than a spoon. That's for dang sure. Hopefully it's a hungry fish. Come on, 
show yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Our patience, our patience has finally paid off, guys. We have been struggling out in the heat. This is a nice fish right here. This is a good one. The colors on him. Great big spoon. Showing right on the bottom. That is just a beautiful, beautiful fish. Heck yeah. Wow, that's nice. All right, guys, let's get him in the net. Oh, heck yeah. That's awesome. Definitely let him recuperate. Okay guys, that's all she wrote for. Couldn't catch anything else, nothing else wanted to buy. It's kind of sad, but it's a beautiful, beautiful evening. It's too bad they're not biting. <laughs>